Last news. Germany passes law banning gay conversion therapy for minors. Germany's par parliament has passed a law banning so-called gay conversion therapy for children nationwide. Under the new law, minors will not be allowed to take part in medical interventions aimed at changing or suppressing their sexual orientation or gender identity. Parents and legal guardians can also be punished for making their children take part through deception, coercion, or threats. Those breaking the new law can face up to a year in prison or a $30,000 euro, 30, euro fine. Some critics argue that the new law does not go far enough, calling for the age minimum to be raised as high as um, 27. Okay, this is bad news in my opinion. Do you guess why I think this is a bad news? I don't because know. to me, this means that it wasn't banned until now. <laughs> what the hell? Like Germany passes law banning gay conversion ther therapy. So it was legal until recently in Germany. Are you serious? Like, is, is that not shocking to you guys? That is, we live in is... America. This is like, we're not even close to being there yet. So to me, I'm like, what are you talking about? No, but Germany is, I thought Germany was way ahead of these conversations compared to United States. They probably do it under the guise of religion. And yeah, so therefore Jer people feel like they can't say anything because of religious privilege. I'm, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I, 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 don't know. I honestly, I'm shocked that this is news now. I thought, like, if, if I had to guess, like, I thought gay, in a country like Germany, I think Germany, I didn't know Germany gives in to religious panders to the religious community that much. Do, do, do they? Well, they I have mean, the this... Christian Democrat Party. Yeah, That's but a, are they like the that? Parties. Hmm. But are they this anti scientific that they, that something like this gets. The green light over there. Okay, I, do, I I'm just claiming ignorance. I don't know. I, I, I don't I, really know that much about German politics. Hmm. I just the, know that they seem sort of you know opened and anything goes now the way they you know. But B just saying my Canadian province covered conversion therapy under health program until a few years ago. Wow, wow. that's crazy. Um, Hoppy saying, "Damn, Armin is mad." Oh well, why? That's interesting. Um, yeah, okay, so you guys are not shocked. You guys would have, I, I'm sure, I said, like, I would, I mean, if I had to guess, I would have said, like, if I, if, if, uh, if five years ago you asked me, do you think something like this is legal in Germany? I would have just guessed not. So maybe I'm just a knave. So I have an article that says from this, um, PBS. Isn't news hour that says this is from december 2019 that they usually when you have news like this is there's a the reason it's not, like it's a slow um the reason why it gets updated is because something significant happened on the same mm -hmm. news that started a few months mm -hmm. ago right so for example we get we have a news about uh, uh somebody getting arrested and people are like where are you talking about it now this guy was arrested three months ago. Well, you, because the news articles are getting trending again because something significant happened. So I don't know what's... Uh, this what's article is dated as coming out on the 8th, yesterday. Yeah. yeah so there so, must be something I don't know, maybe they just... Oh, yeah, it, the bill was drafted in November, but they must have just voted on it because... See? this they passed it. Yeah, because this is from December... When they were talking about it, because I was doing some research trying to figure exactly that out, Armin, like, well, what was going on before that? And basically, you know, everything I was seeing was they already banned it. And I'm like, well, that was in 2019, you know, six months ago or whatever. But yeah. So, yeah, it must be that they actually voted on it and passed it now. But in the previous articles, they had just you know, put forth the bill and drafted it. What do you guys think about some people wanting the age minimum to be as high as 27? Well, why don't they just ban it all together then? What? Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, I mean there might be some people who genuinely seek this out. Yeah, but it's a health thing. You shouldn't be able to push like, like again, as a, 
I have to say this again, as somebody that believes in minimum government, I think this is a place where the government has a role. If you go and say, hey, this this cure this cures your I don't know what, and it doesn't, that should be legal. You cannot just say that, okay? So it's that's something that the government should get involved in. And if you say like, hey, this will cure your gayness, I don't care how old you are, you could be a hundred years old. This is this should be legal because you're spreading. It's a scam. It's a, it's fraud. You're telling a lie. This is not scientific. Uh, Mars is saying uh, Christian Democratic Party in Germany. There's such exists such a thing. Uh, am I? Yeah, that's Merkel Party. Yeah, that's their party. Again, this is why I think this is not a big deal that they're Christian because Merkel is from that party. And when was the last time that she pushed something Christian? Right, so I, I just think like whatever Christian. I I don't know how pushy. They, I mean, maybe that's just left in their name only. I don't know. They there doesn't seem to be pushing for much Christianity from the Christian Democratic Party in Germany. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Uval is saying this law is good, but note the hypocrisy. It's it's or it's or to start. I don't know to start gender conversion in the US at the age, but at the same time, wrong to try and change sexual orientation. Either they're both wrong for minors or both. Wrong. Oh, okay. I don't, He's I, against I don't hormone blockers for kids, it seems. Blockers. I am, I mean, yeah, these are children. I don't know that you should do things like that till they're old enough to understand the. I don't have enough. Okay, so the argument from the other side is that you're not uh, for, for children. Uh, that are six, suspected of being trans, uh, trans, uh, transsexual. You're not making a decision for them. You're actually giving them an opportunity to. Again, I'm not. I don't know if this is right or wrong. I don't know if this is harmful or not. But the idea is that if you let them go to puberty, uh, they, there's the hormones of puberty is going to make a lot of the changes uh, irreversible. So the reason why you give them hormone blockers is to give because they're children and they can't make a decision now, you're giving them an opportunity to make a decision later. I'm not saying this is right or wrong because honestly, I don't know. People are saying like hormone blockers are harmful. Some people are saying, no, they're completely harmless. Um, and I honestly don't know. It seems like everybody that all the content creators that are making content about this seem to be completely biased and th whether this is harmful or not seems to be completely in line with their political leanings. So I do not trust that. And I'm, I haven't looked at this uh, scientific studies directly. And if you're deciding whether this, this is true or not based on the people with, uh, um, you know, other agendas, that's not the right way to do it. Okay. So you have to push if you actually want to know the truth, you actually, actually, you actually have to go look at the research and you have to be trained that how to read the research and how to recognize a good research from a bad research. But that's a lot of time and resources uh, that I do not yet have. Well, with uh, the kids and the hormone blockers and all of that, we don't even have a lot of that because there hasn't been, excuse me, enough longitudinal studies to see over an extended period of time. It's rather new. What, is the effect of that, whether physiologically, psychologically, et cetera. So mm. it's sort of in this gray area and the science is emerging all the time. Shobham is saying hormone blockers are not harmful. Damn, now I wish I was in the stream. <laughs> there was another person here um, that said something similar. Where is that? So basically yeah. the idea is that if someone is already very secure in this feeling of being transgender, um, and this has been a really long-term thing for them throughout their childhood, that when puberty hits, um, their body is going to change more drastically and making gender dysphoria way more severe. And any changes that do happen to your body during puberty are going to be a lot harder to change to make you feel better about yourself right. um, once you do grow up. And so, yeah, it's to put a pause on things. Right. So it's not about like people like, oh, they're children. You shouldn't make a decision for them. The argument is that you're not. The argument is that because they're children, 
uh, you should delay the process so that they get to make a choice. Um, Gaysian American Gaysian. Saying, Gaysian American is saying, yeah, that's a very good username. It's saying uh, puberty robs them from the choice. Hormone blockers give them the choice. They are fully reverse reversible. Uh, surgeries, wait. Surgeries down, surgeries the, line down will make, the line will make it more expensive if not blo if no blockers are given. Um, where's another one that I saw that was a good one? There, oh, okay, another godless atheist is saying they are harmless. Uh, once you stop the puberty blockers, puberty resumes as normal. So here's the thing. Even if you disagree with that, even if you think puberty uh, blockers are harmful, try to understand the side that is saying that this is harmless is not this conspiracy theory to like i'm not saying people like you will are saying that but people just say that you know both sides think that again straw man the other side so the side that is saying puberty blockers are harmless the other side like oh they're like these i don't know satanic people are now like deform like trying to destroy the fan your family family and trying to like you know everything is sexual and now they're coming after our children and they are their perverted ways and they're just like going against nature and destroying it like that's not like try to at least be generous to their side they're actually trying to help people i mean both sides even though one side is obviously wrong okay uh both sides are actually trying to be doing what is best for children okay even if you think the other side is wrong the agenda of just try to be charitable to what their intentions are and assume, unless they prove otherwise, that their intention is to do what is best for the children. Okay? They want to stop do. kids from killing themselves. Yeah, both sides. Okay? Both sides. Even the, the side, that, yeah, maybe you could be like, okay, this is why you're wrong, but don't, don't assume malicious intent. Okay? Unless they really prove it to you. Um, you're right. I think that was, do you guys want to add anything to that? Um, so now not to this story, but I do have a plug. Okay. Um, so yesterday Armin and I had a really good discussion with, um, a Dr. Leo Igwe and he talked to us about, um, it was an amazing talk. I really enjoyed it. I felt so inspired afterwards. Um, so we talked about the case of Mubarak Bala mm. in Nigeria, who is a atheist humanist activist who was arrested on the 28th for a Facebook post he made. And um, basically people haven't heard from him since. He was moved to a province where the implementation of Sharia law is almost certain. And um, the whole community there is really crying out for international support because like I said, they haven't heard from him since and people at this point don't even know if he's alive. He's being held incommunicado and denied legal resources. So Armin and I talked to Leo Igwe, and he's a total firebrand, really big activist there. And um, the title is Nigerian Atheist in Jail, hashtag free Mubarak Bala, if you want to go look it up. Um, please go watch that discussion. We also talked about um, Leo's work to end the abuse and torture of people who are accused of witchcraft, um, which is one of his passions. And um, we talk a lot about how we can support the Nigerian community right now. Yeah. 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 And also, all, all credit to Susanna for setting that up. I think okay. uh, Susanna is like getting us more content, more interviews that is in line with what the mission of this channel uh, was originally to bring more attention to atheists that are in trouble. So I'm really glad that. We're doing that now. So thank you, Susanna. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, glad that I can put my skills to use. Honestly, like with that, you two and Shobham, like I, I have to actually, I know a lot of people have noticed, but you guys do, I just show up here and just yell at everything. You guys, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, like Rivka does a lot of research. Uh, Susanna does a lot of research. 
Shobham does a lot of research and he also has a lot of knowledge about the things that we highlight uh, that the rest of us don't know. Rivka also knows a lot about like Jewish stuff that the rest of us don't know. I, I just like, I just come here with little home, no homework. I don't do my homework. I don't do my research. I just hear about this news every time. Like this is my first time, most of the news here and just react to it. Uh, so I just want to give credit to the rest of the team here for all the work they do. You guys are awesome. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. By the way, I hope like people don't think when I like uh, when I'm being like racist to show palm. It's <laughs> I'm being, I'm just joking. Okay. The reason why I'm very racist against show palm uh, is because he gets a lot of uh, attack, uh, like a lot of bigoted attacks for being uh, trans. And I'm just trying to like even it out by being bigoted against him for being for being Indian and making fun of his accent. So you just get some diversity in in the in that. It's a misdirect. <laughs> yeah, it's like refreshing. Like oh my god, all week people attack me because I'm trans, but this one day of the week people are actually racist to me and said this is awesome. This is refreshing. So. <laughs> Anyways, that's so. one way to show love. <laughs> yeah. That's one way to show support. All right. Okay, so let's end this here. Love you guys. Um, just stay on for a second while I end the break. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody in the live chat. You're awesome. Like, like everything, share. Everything. Oh yes, I forgot. See, I don't even do that right. Uh, like, <laughs> share, subscribe, share this. Share this with everybody. Share this with the people that you know, could use our content again. The YouTube algorithm is against us. The Facebook algorithm is against us. They don't like our content. Um, I have smaller channels that does a lot more views than this channel. That's the reason why this channel is not growing. So to fight back against the YouTube algorithm because our content is controversial, um, we need you guys to just signal to YouTube, just fire up the algorithm by clicking like, even unlike that even helps for some reason, uh, <laughs> commenting, sharing, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. Do all of those things, okay? This really does help. People are like, oh, maybe it helps a little bit. No, it helps a lot. It's just like night and day. It makes a huge difference. That makes or break a channel, whether you take a couple of seconds just to like that, um, you know, hit that like button or just leave a comment. It does make a huge difference. We're not asking it because it's just nothing, okay? It makes a big difference to, to grow our channel. So please do that. All right, love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. We're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Aces Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 